I'm in a Walmart parking lot watching a woman who can't remember where she parked. Every time she holds her remote in the air, I honk my horn. My job fired me yesterday, saw it coming. Just a seasonal position. Already have a new job, and they asked me if I could still show up for my shift today because no one else could take it. I said yes. It is now 10 minutes past when I was supposed to clock it, and I'm laying in bed. You are given one wish, but everything you wish happens to everyone. What is your wish? I wish I'd shut myself right now. I'm in the bathroom, so the aftermath for everyone else is gonna be hilarious. Step 1. Empty the casings. Step 2. Get a bowl and add 5 part birdshot, 1 part pure capsaicin crystals, 2 part salt. Step 3. Mist with water and stir until somewhat clumpy. Step 4. Repeat with 99% alcohol. Step 5. Let dry. Step 6. Repack shells. Unleash semi-lethal hell. Who hurt you? I just found my cousin's sim card and she passed away 3 years ago. I'm thinking of sending her boyfriend text saying guess who's back. We do a little bit of trolling. So my uncle got a drone. Now he's ducking with people. My son is terrified of the Loch Ness monster right now. Absolutely terrified. Keeps asking me questions about it. Can it get out of the lock? Is the lock far away etc? No idea where he even heard about it. I told him it can drive and could be in our town in about 20 minutes. Eats we boys. When you write a letter to Satan instead of Santa. Asking for a puppy. Thousands of people plan to attend a barbecue in front of the home of a vegan Australian woman who took her neighbors to court over the smell of meat cooking in their own backyard. I can't get these tires to 100%, no matter how much air I put in them. What the duck? I think I got bad tires. Holy shut. You're so close. Don't give up now. Sometimes you have to use heat air to get to 100%. Ha 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 ha. Thanks, I needed that encouragement. For a moment I was worried I might be doing something wrong. I enjoy getting my sleeves wet when I wash my hands. Whenever I'm at work and I have to wash my hands, I purposefully wet my sleeves so that they stick better to my wrists and give me a nice cooling sensation. It's pure bliss. Got aliens. Me. Devil. After finishing a 90 km ultra marathon, runners have to leave the stadium using these stairs. Some nuthead left a football filled with concrete in the middle of a field. Laptop overheating. Pour water on it to cool it down. I trusted you. Do not trust people like me. I will take you to museums, and parks, and monuments, and kiss you in every beautiful place, so that you can never go back to them without tasting me like blood in your mouth. I will destroy you in the most beautiful way possible. And when I leave, you will finally understand why storms are named after people. Someone broke all of the Kit Kats at my store. Losing my mind. Just offered the aisle seat to the guy sitting between me and my girlfriend on a flight, and he said he'd rather stay in the middle seat between us. Embarrassing my team. Hi teens. I'm a 42 year old mom, and follow this page, just for insight what may be going on around my 13 female daughter who obviously doesn't talk to me. I'm not one of those suckers. I've seen you guys talk about sliding in kids DMs, that are whole creepy ace adults. Ducking gross. I love the thread where the dad asked how to troll his kid with the phrases the kids are saying. All I can remember is LW mid and calling her a mid got the absolute reaction I wanted. Please show me your ways to troll my daughter with newfangled terms. Also if you're a predator that outs themselves, I will report you to any kind of prosecution or accountability content I can think of because you're sick. Constantly reference among us the game. Examples, call things sus, short for suspicious, or call people imposters. It's annoying when teens say this shut, I can't even imagine how awful it would be if my parents said it. Now then, 
What's your third wish going to be? And your first wish is... Triple world hunger. Um, and your second? Double student debt. Make mosquitoes explosive when crushed. I broke my leg. Don't worry man. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan. Shut, he's still alive. Time for plan B. Someone literally died on my flight today. So we made an emergency landing and everyone missed their connections. The guy behind me was complaining saying how, is it an emergency, if they are already dead, and I'd just like to say that you sir, are the devil. My sister made me, what I thought, was a delicious carrot cake, but was actually a meatloaf with mashed potato frosting. Edit, the leaves are made of American cheese. A group of Louisiana public school students were told they were going to a career fair, but were instead taken to a church service, where girls were told to forgive rapists and reject transgender identities and boys competed in push-up contests for money. Parents, students complain East Baton Rouge school's field trip was more like church service. I never wish dealt upon anyone who wronged me. I wish for sudden diarrhea while stuck in traffic with frequent sneezes. One of my favorite things to do with my group of guy friends is to give them my left to the bag of cookies, but leave just one less for them all to get one. They're fighting over them right now. One of them doesn't even like sweets. It's a matter of pride. I printed this paper bag model out of wood PLA, and I have to keep telling my brain that it's not a real bag. I'm going to just leave it around the office randomly to make people question reality. If you woke up tomorrow morning a billionaire, what's the most extravagantly lavish thing you'd waste some money on? I'd go to generic restaurants, give my waiter or waitress $100 to send a glass of milk with ice in it to a specific table. The $100 would be to keep quiet about who sent the milk. I would do this several more times to the same table until they got visibly upset. No waiter in the world would stop sending ice milks, especially after I raise the offer to $500. If I were a waiter, I would gladly keep putting glasses of milk with ice in on someone's table, even if they were screaming in my face if I made 500 bucks each time. So yeah, I would do ice milk, instant classic. Create two characters that are very close best friends and make everyone love them. Then, begin making a ship between the both of them, and everyone wants to see them dating. Then at the end of the story, kill one of them in the most brutal way, and make the other one see it all, and enter heavy depression. Never bring back the killed character. Who the duck hurt you? I hung around some shutty surf punks when I was younger, and we'd write buried treasure with an X in the sand. The X was where someone, or a few summons, took a shit in a shallow hole and buried it. We called it a turtle nest. Then we'd just wait in the surf line for some poor bastard to succumb to their whimsical curiosity. We were not good people. For $250 an hour, I will pose as a couple's therapist and convince your loved one they are wrong about everything. My brother just emailed this to my whole school. School isn't cancelled. School is cancelled tomorrow. Hey everyone. Just wanted to spread the word. No school. How can I get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine out of my system? A secret I learned in my 20 years as a military doctor. If you get a vaccine that you really don't want to need to remove it from your body there is only one surefire method to do so. Take 2 to 3 habanero peppers and blend them up with 1.5 cups of water and administer it as an enema. The special acids in the peppers not only deactivate any tracking chips, but also absorb the vaccine toxins right out of your body through your intestinal lining, so they can be immediately excreted. That way you can get the so-called vaccination card without the health risks of keeping the vaccine in your body. Teacher, the test isn't that hard. The test, which is the first Pokemon. A. Bulbasaur. B. Mew. C. Raiden. D. Arceus. Frog Army. Team breeds millions of frogs in his backyard and leashes them on his neighborhood. I wanted to create the largest frog army in history. What evil prank have you pulled off? 
My mum's laptop wallpaper was a picture of her granddaughter. I copied the picture 100 times and made her wallpaper a slideshow of the same picture over and over again. So the file would change but nothing would change visibly on the monitor. The pictures would change every 10 seconds. On one of the images I painted a tiny little curly moustache on her. So randomly for 10 seconds my niece would have a moustache. My mum thought she was either losing her mind or had a computer virus and every time the moustache popped up, it was gone by the time she tried to show anyone. This is what happens when you put a penny in the microwave for 2 minutes. Yo you just made me start a fire in the house. When I was 13, my teacher gave me an F, so I made a catfish account that had a relationship with him and then sent it to his wife and got him divorced. You're a burglar, but you only steal things to slightly inconvenience your victims. What are you stealing? I would steal the glass tray from their microwave. It's highly inconvenient, and you're not able to simply go out and buy a replacement. Brought brown is in for all my co-workers. Wasn't cause I was being nice, but cause I heard they were doing a random dogs test and I didn't want to be the only dirty one so, unless they plan on firing the whole staff force they better leave me the duck alone. Saw someone posted about this earlier, and I can definitely confirm it's true. I did DoorDash for a short time, and realized that, if you walk with confidence to the pickup spot at any of your fast food spots and grab a bag or two bag, and walk out they will not stop you. Been getting free meals every day for 6 months. Hashtag survival tips. Squidnapping a junkie off the streets then forcing him to play Skyrim for 72 hours straight, and when we do, let him sleep it's only for 4 hours, until we wake him up, by blasting the Skyrim theme music, after injecting him with heroin, and telling him he's in the Skyrim universe over and over again until one day he falls asleep, and we drop him in rural Scandinavia with a sword. I drive a truck. Today a red car decided to cut me off in a very long slow traffic jam. We proceeded to make his life hell for the next hour and a half. My conspiracy theory is that there's no such thing as witness protection. When the government erases your identity, they just duck and kill you. It is cheaper, easier, and when people are like no seriously, where are they? They can be, like I know right. How good are we? Loving the idea of someone in witness protection scrolling through Twitter, seeing this tweet, and being angry, because they know I'm wrong, but obviously can't say it. This random number texted me accidentally, and I couldn't help myself lmro. When you get home, and get the baby settled call me. I thought you had the baby, what? One time I asked a rival dad, who I knew, didn't own a torque wrench. If I could borrow his torque wrench in front of a group of people. I got banned from Cheat Code Central when I was a kid for posting elaborate time wasting fake cheats for various games I never played. My ex works in a pharmacy, so whenever I want to spoil her mood, I will just go there and buy condo for no reason. Sometimes I go 3 times a day. I finally found the bottom right corner of the excel sheet, it's xfd 1048576. Pro tip, change the font color to white, put a zero in that box, and if someone tries to print out the document it will eat a ream of paper. Fun fact, crows can talk just like parrots do, it requires a process called freeing their tongue, don't ask, but yes I want to train a flock of them to say run and release them onto a hiking trail. I want to ask, how many nightmares do you want to give people? All of them. A Deka dad cut me off in the parking lot, so I went early yesterday and taught his kid how to ride a bike you can never get that back. That's the evilest thing I can imagine. If you had to design a harmless but annoying virus, what would it do? You have a strong urge to sneeze, but can't actually sneeze. Alright, calm down Satan. I noticed that, while I was peeing in a public restroom, that some dude was sitting in the stall quietly, as if he was waiting for me to leave. 
So I went to the door, opened it, let it creak shut and waited. I heard him sigh in relief, and then start shutting very audibly. So I yelled ha ha I heard you. And then I left. I bet he died inside. Whoa there Satan. True story. I'm flying right now, but through Wi-Fi and an app on my phone. I'm honking the horn on my car back home to annoy my family. The future is now. If you're bored on Valentine's Day, just go up to random couples in restaurants and yell who the hell is she, laughs in Sith Lord. The advanced version is when you bring some kids with you. Someone should make a haunted house where it's not that scary and the props look poorly made. But the exit is fake and the real haunted house begins when you think you've left it. Well, I just wanna say that I'm a huge fan. Spending my valentines outside a nice restaurant shouting well you moved on pretty quickly to random couples walking in. I want to make an infomercial where it's not clear what the guy's selling. Like he's demonstrating how powerful this vacuum is by snacking up a bowling ball. But then he starts showing you how strong the bowling ball is by dropping it on some knives. But then he's showing how the knives haven't been damaged at all by using them to cut through some shoes. And it goes on and on for 2 hours then just loops back to the start while a number flashes on screen the whole time. And if you call it it just echoes whatever you say. Back to you. The neighbor's kids challenged us to a water fight. I'm in. Just waiting for the water to boil. You know how pantry shelves are a certain size? What if we make our family size boxes just a little bigger than that? Serial executive. First of all, I love it. I came into the office early and switched as many M and M keys on keyboards as I could. Some might say I'm a monster, but others will say nomster. It's fun to chant Bloody Mary into your car's side mirror three times and watch her jog and try to keep up. Being a nut even to demons. A guy I put in the friend zone a year ago almost got a girlfriend today, so I told him I like him. I don't. But I need him just in case. That woman's villainy knows no bound. My stink is cooking in front of my friends who know which knife is made for what and forcing them to watch me use the wrong one for the wrong thing. Use the cheese grater for tomatoes. You'll burn in hell for this. Me watching the neighbors fight over a pair of panties I purposefully left behind in the guy's car cause the woman wouldn't buy girl scout cookies from my daughter. Butchers always think they freaky till they meet an egg like me who gon' tie them down and pour a tablespoon of some McDonald's Sprite on the cliff and watch that mother ducker fizz up like some queefing pop rocks. Let me start off by saying, I was fighting demons last night, I apologize. When I'm bored, I come to Walmart and put these on people car windows. Call me, I'm pregnant. If you wear a falconry glove to the park and frantically look around the sky, everyone with a small dog will leave. Warning. These brownies are for shuts and giggles. Some have laxative. Some have pot. Was my cashier wrong for denying me a condo? For context, I'm 14. I live in Canada. Before asking her I made sure that it was legal for me to buy a condo. And to my surprise, it somehow is. The cashier insisted that she couldn't sell one to me because I was a minor. I told her that you could buy condos at any age, but she held firm. I awkwardly said bye and left. So that's Max no slexy time with my girlfriend. Go back in a week or two and ask them for a pregnancy test. To get revenge on a co-worker, I dried out a pack of sharpers, and every time he leaves his out, I swap it for an identical dead one. It's been a week and he's losing his mind. I wanna know what the ducker did to warrant such pure unadulterated evil genius. I've been waiting for the perfect time to change my Netflix password so my ex can't use it anymore, and it doesn't really get much better than a national lockdown. People who scream red during a cat game, even though they know it's green and 14 people get it wrong. Satan. 
I caught a sea bass. No, wait, it's at least a C plus. I have a fish named Gerald who I hate, so I put him in a tank on the beach. He's so close to the ocean, but can never reach it. Customer came in complaining of hearing a whistle coming from the engine. I was able to diagnose the issue as them having ace hole friends. A girl messaged me saying that I post too much and I'm ugly. I did a little digging and found out that zero she works at a spa an hour away. I made an appointment and asked for her specifically. Needless to say she will be waxing and bleaching my bed hole tomorrow. My husband passed me off and think he finna sit in the living room and watch TV in peace. So, I downloaded the LG remote app and keep turning the TV off from the bedroom. He came in here and I acted like I was asleep. So now he thinks we have ghosts. When you put a nicotine patch on him every night when he sleeps w you. So he has withdrawals when you're not together and he becomes ad beat Ted to hanging out with you. If you could telepathically say something that all 7.8 billion people on earth could hear at once what would it be? Act out a conversation between two people talking about shutting down the simulation. Then freak out about accidentally broadcasting the conversation in the simulation. But if you power off Chicago, the rest of them will notice. We've gotta start somewhere. No, I'm not gonna do that. I think it will frazzle them. The population's too big. You can't just eliminate the entire city. 